What's up gamers? GamerDot here. This is a guide to help you complete the week 2 weekly quest, stage 1 of 2, eliminate enemy players during the day. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that button, show me that support as well. Please do use my creator code in your Fortnite item shop. It is GamerDad, all one word, all caps. I greatly appreciate your support. So for this challenge, you need to eliminate a total of 20 enemy players, not opponents. This means bosses, NPCs, they are excluded from this. It's only the other 99 players in your game. Now, Getting 20 eliminations for some is going to be daunting, so I'm going to share strategies that are intended at the more novice, new users, or as sometimes they're referred to as noobs, although I don't really like that uh, term. But starting here at the Drift Racetrack is an absolute killer strategy. Why? Because you can purchase the drum shotgun from Beast Mode. Now, I only came about this strategy, you know, a little ways through after my first match, but this is an example of my first match. I'm working on another challenge. When I heard this player, I didn't just run at them. I kind of hid behind there and made sure I could take them out, you know, and a bit of a surprise. Another key to getting these eliminations will be having full shields, 100 shields and 100 health as much as possible. When you see players, again, take a moment and try to come up with a little strategy. I like to jump when I'm coming near opponents. I like to hide behind something for a while. If you take damage, the first chance you can to heal up, do it. Using these big slurp trucks is great because it will replenish 100 shields and 100 health anytime you use them. Here's a case where I jumped out. I could have walked out. Use the dr This drum shotgun, though, is absolutely vicious. That was only um, a, a green level or an uncommon. I'm getting my rarities mixed up. But buying that um, epic drum shotgun either from a hollow chest with keys or from the beast mode npc is like just honestly a killer way to do this and you can just see that i basically tear through people here in this case sadly i'd run out of ammo which didn't help the cause so make sure you've got lots of ammo um and then here again quickly destroying these slurp trucks is just a great way if you don't have shields uh, in your arsenal already but here's where i'm going to walk you through it at this point i've already got 10 eliminations but I basically then repeated this process for, you know, 15 or more of my limbs. I would always start at the Drift Ridge racetrack. I would always land right here. I would always buy this gun from Beast Mode. And then I would just aim to get my shields up as soon as possible, pick up some extra ammo, and then I would literally start looking for players. So you can look for players and go after them. Another thing, by the way, is watch out for safes so you can keep replenishing your gold every match and it kind of offsets buying the weapon from beast mode each time now just across from the drift racetrack and all over the map are job boards you can use a job board to choose this eliminate enemy player which is a bounty and then it highlights them on the map and you can go after that person as an elimination no and i forgot to mention this thus far the key requirement is here is it must be during the day so if it's nighttime quit the game and restart again otherwise it could take you a while you always want to make sure it's daytime when you're going after this challenge. But as you can see, I basically just go on tears. If I hear people fighting, I hide behind a tree for a minute, get my wits ready, and then, you know, I'll use long-range weapons to maybe start the damage from afar, like I did with the bow there. Otherwise, if I see people or I hear people, I'm going after them with this drum. It is just lethal. And just unload. Bam, 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 bam. Do not let up. So in this case, watch what I did. I knew there was more people around here. I could just tell. So I kind of just glance over the top of this ridge here, down in the on the beach there. I saw that player. So I get my bow ready, because I'm not going to use the drum shotgun from way the heck back here. And a couple shots of this uh, kinetic boomerang. I said bow. I meant to say boomerang. Um, and that player is eliminated. No need for the drum. But carry some shields on you. Slap uh, s Bottles of slap juice are great, because you can uh, consume them on the go. But even coming from down here, as you see, I come up. I've just used that one slap, and there's going to be a player right on my left again. I'm at 15 of 20 eliminations at this point. Playing in build is great, because then you can use builds to either, you know, block shots. You can use them to throw off your opponent. In this case, I'm just going to run. I'm going to jump off my build to kind of come in on a different, you know, bit of an angle and throw the player off. Always pick up those gold bars. Always pick up any ammo, especially if you're using my ploy, uh, or strategy, I should say, of using the drum shotgun. If you want a, another strategy, hire one of these NPCs. Even if they don't do damage, they are a distraction if another player comes. They'll start shooting at that player. So it's good for them, you know, like I say, to even take damage off or just take the heat off of you because the player may get distracted. So in this case, I'm going to use these builds, jump, 
start laying the damage and even if the player builds i'm just going to keep unloading and it's just they can't quickly they can't build quick enough to defend against that so i'm at 17 of 20 eliminations like i say i'm doing the exact same same thing every time this gas station right here it's just north of the drift racetrack always has people at it i don't know why it's like a an opponent or a player magnet um i'm at 18 of 20 i end up dying there I got one more elimination. Here's my final elimination. I heard people fighting. I know the person is in this building. I was waiting for them to come out, and then I realized based on their footsteps that they're actually up on the second level. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to um, crouch down to try to be a bit more quiet. I should have done it the whole way in. And I'm going to get to the top. The person looks like they're actually one of the high card uh, boss people. But I realized quite quickly that this is not a boss. They would have been marked differently. So right there. Eliminate this player and then my challenge will be complete. So I do hope this guide is helpful for you. Please drop a like. Leave me a comment. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that button. Show me that support as well. Please do use my creator code in your Fortnite item shop. It is GamerDad. All one words. All caps. Good luck with your challenges. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. And until the next video, this is GamerDad out.